art is art and everyone likes it for a different reason. But when you talk about film posters, I think there's an emotional attachment that you maybe don't get with collecting watches or cars because you've seen this film. It could have been your first film you went as a child. There's so many emotions. So if you buy a poster from one of these films that you're emotionally attached to, it's much more than just having a piece of art because every time you look at it, it's got all these heartstrings to pull on. Some top tips on collecting film posters. What I always tell people is you should buy what you love. Don't be too influenced by people around you. You should buy what you love because you're going to live with it. Title is paramount. The market is led by title. Then you have rarity, and then you have condition, and then you have artwork. If you're starting a collection, there are several wonderful pieces that I believe will more than stand the test of time. If it's a, a major title, it has a much more chance of being a valuable piece. From the Star Wars posters, to the uh, Steve McQueen bullet, to the science fiction, the legendary 2001 Stanley Kubrick Bond. There are several great James Bond pieces. Then you have rarity in America, and in England, there are hardly any film posters survived from pre-1946. The majority were pulped for the war effort. There was such a shortage of paper that they had to use whatever they could. So you want uh, a poster in the top condition. And obviously, film posters had to survive terrible you know, weather conditions. The storage of them was never archival, so you could have moisture, damp. Obviously, if they were used and they were up, there's a chance that they could be faded. And fading is a no, big no-no. And then you have artwork. Every country was responsible for their own designs to distribute their films. So there are so many different types of artwork for one film. So from an art point of view, there's probably going to be something that you'd like to hang on your wall. Film posters are a good way to start a collection of art. I think it's uh, like I, a much, a much more emotional area of collecting, which you don't get. I don't think from other other fields of art. You can think this piece you're looking at was actually hanging outside a cinema at the time when the film was first shown. So it's like you own a. You actually own a piece of the of the history. We're covering, you know, a hundred years or more of of film, and we also are covering all the main genres, from science fiction, horror, leading ladies, uh, Audrey Hepburn, Hitchcock, animation, and Bond. So it has an incredible array of wonderful pieces from probably the most collectible genres.